Good morning, everyone. This is my second Diag of the day. Um, we had a customer come in, tow in yesterday for a no start. Uh, so it had a dead battery, bad starter, needed an oil change, got it up and running. They brought it back today and said, hey, can you check the tires? Um, I didn't really do a safety check on this car yesterday. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but sometimes I focused on, you know, I need to get this car running to see if it's worth putting any more money into, you know, and an older car. Someone did say this to me, uh, you know, what if the car is rusted out and it's an older car and they don't want to put any money in it? Every situation's a little different, right? So I have rusted out vehicles and I put money into them. I keep them going. Some people may not want to do that. So, you know, especially when I get a no start. Uh, and the engine doesn't crank and it's not seized, I mean, that could be tons of issues or it could be a little bit of issues. So then, you know, the first thing is to get it running and, uh, you know, and go from there. So now that the customer knows that it runs and it runs good, they brought it back for the concern of a brake light that came on and then it went off. That was because the brake fluid was a little low. We don't top brake fluid with oil changes and I don't think Caleb checked the brake fluid level, but although there wasn't a warning light on when we started it and delivered the car, but it did drop below 60 degrees and brake fluid will shrink just enough to trigger a low fluid condition if it's right at that right at that point. And then when the, the ambient air warms up the brake fluid or driving it warms the brake fluid, it expands. So that's why you have that expansion tank and storage container for fluid. Um, so that was check the front end, check the tires, you know, uh, do a safety check on it. And we did. So that was the first Diagnostic. The second one is a 63,000 mile Subaru. And President Rachel moved this car yesterday. What year is this thing? 2014 Subaru and President with 63,000, almost 64,000 miles on it. I, it started right up, I'm getting ready to drive it, but the steering feels so wonky, baby. So let's drive it. So get the steering wheel straight. And the steering wheel, the car makes an instant left turn. I get you to, from this angle. Yeah, look at it. It's, it's pulling me right off to the road. Like if, if you were texting and not paying attention and you were driving this car, and mind you, there's hundreds and thousands of people out there driving their car like this. Look, boom. You see how accidents happen? I'm a skilled YouTuber, texter, driver. Nice little hot rod back here. And I don't believe that, I mean, there's creaking in the rear suspension. I don't believe this car has a flat tire, but ready? So the caster, and then now the car is going instantly to the left. Like I could crash that fast. And there's hundreds of people out here driving their cars with misalignment, bald tires, bad front ends, noises in the suspensions, and they just don't service them. They just don't service them. And, and in New Jersey, they don't have to. You can gas and go and oil change and go and your car can be falling apart. Now in New York and in Philadelphia, you have uh, thorough inspection programs but look at this. This is not me. I'm not I'm not driving while intoxicated. This car is just that's jacked up. So that is a not good sign. So how do you know your front end's messed up? If you're, you're not a car person, you stare into your phone all day long, you you go to Dunkin' Donuts or you know your favorite place every morning to get gas, donuts, and frou frou coffees or teas and you just don't know anything about cars. Well, when you purchased your car, it went straight. <laughs> it drove straight, it handled straight. Your steering wheel didn't do this when you when you, you, you took off, right? It, it pulls completely left. Let's see if we can do it again. Like something's definitely jacked up, right? Look, it's, do, it's doing a left turn all by itself and, it's, and I'm on a flat road here. So if your car's doing this, look, I'm gonna crash right into this Mustang the car should just go straight. Now there is such a thing as called torque steer, but 
those days have pretty much been eliminated in most cars today by engineering improvements. Um, but how do you know you have a problem? <laughs> well, you have to pay attention to your vehicle. Look, the car will continue to make a left turn. It, your car should not continue to t make a left turn when you take your hand off the steering wheel. The caster of the wheel alignment, I'm not getting technical, the caster will tell the, make the vehicle go back to the following, the opposite direction. So if your steering wheel is not straight while you're driving, that usually indicates a problem. In newer vehicles, it will alert because of your ADOS system, a problem. So if your alignment's too far off, the vehicle only has a set amount of parameters with its cameras and saying, hey, you have a big effing problem and you need to get it in for service and it will illuminate a, a bunch of lights. So the older generation cars don't have that technology. This doesn't have an ADOS in a 14. Um, let's go on a run. Let's go on a, the drive on first. So older vehicles, your steering wheel could be upside down, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and the car could track straight without any problems. That means someone may have taken the car apart, and we've seen this, and put it back together wrong, and the car can drive straight, and your steering wheel is all jacked up. Ooh, that just scraped really good. And it just needs to be put back together properly and then realigned. Um, then you have the people who just drive their car with major front end and tire issues and don't know what's going on. But So how do you tell? Well, if your car is pulling left or right without hitting the brakes, without a steep crown of road. So if you're driving on a road that's crowned like this, right, your car is going to track. You may have to hold it. If the road's fairly flat, right, and you don't see any divots in it, um, then you can say, okay, it's definitely from the car. So road conditions have a lot to do with what your vehicle's doing, how it handles. Many things do. Tires, front end, condition, vehicle design. Um, but if your car drives straight and you take your hands off the steering wheel and it tracks straight and you don't have any other issues, that usually indicates it's close to an alignment. It could be perfectly aligned, um, but it should be checked and performed yearly. If you have free play in your steering wheel like this, as you're driving straight, free play, meaning you can feel it's loose or noises, and that indicates there's some worn out parts and you have problems. If you have clunking, banging, and shaking uh, without hitting the brakes, you have serious issues. And then if you have a front end problem mixed with brakes, you hit the brakes, the car is gonna behave erratically. It could shake, it could pull, it could do many different things. So if you're experiencing the littlest feedback from your steering wheel, so you're driving down the road and you get a little bit of this, a little bit of this, there's something going on. I mean, if you drive down the road and your steering wheel's doing this, you got something going on. If you drive down the, down the road like this and the car is going straight and then you straighten the steering wheel and then it goes to another direction, you have something going on. So that's how you know you have problems with your car. And there's thousands of people out there in New Jersey driving around with unsafe vehicles. Let me check this thing out and I'll report back to you. Thanks for watching.